Welcome to the Kennel Connection training video on the Special Services module. The Special Services module was designed to facilitate the scheduling of appointments that fall outside the realm of our other modules, boarding, grooming, daycare, pet sitting, and training. You can find the icon for Special Services module at the very top of the screen in the quick access bar or under the schedule tab in the schedule section. You'll see the icon is a swimming pool. This is because one of the motivating factors of creating this module was the number of facilities that had pools for pets and that wished to schedule those swim times independently of other schedules. While the icon is a swimming pool, this schedule can be used for pretty much anything you want to schedule outside of one of our other modules. Before taking a look at the Special Services module, we're going to go to the File tab, Setup, and Lists to take a look at where you can create your Special Services to be applied to the schedule. In the List section, we're going to go to the Special Services tab. Here we create our special services for the special services module. And if you have created other services in the past, you'll notice a similarity between the setup for special services and the setup for other services. To create a special service, we're going to click the new service button, then type in the name of the service. the description if desired, the rate or cost of this service, and whether or not this service is taxed. Below that we have the setting for how often this service is performed. Much like special services, we can set up how many times this service is performed every number of days. If the service is only meant to be performed once during a pet stay, you can change that to zero. If the pet is boarding while being scheduled for these special services, we can also check the option to charge for special services on the last day of boarding. We can also check the box if this is a commissionable service. So any employees selected to perform this service will receive commission when the service is invoiced. You can also select a specific inventory category for the services to appear in when invoiced. And if you're using the QuickBooks Direct link, you can choose which income account you wish this income to be transferred to during the sync. Once you've created your special service, click Save. And now we can assign these services on the Special Services module. The Special Services module looks similar to other modules in the system. We have our time, pet, assigned to, service, and then check marks for notes, vaccinations required, or confirmed reservations. We also have sort order and specific employees if we're assigning these services to individuals. Creating reservations for the special services module is the same as other modules. We can click the add button at the top of the module. We can click the create appointments icon in the schedule ribbon. We can drag a pet or a customer from the client view into the schedule. Or if we go to the pet's card, we can monitor and create reservations for the pet from the special services tab of the pet card. From here, we can also modify reservations on the special services schedule, delete them. We can print an appointment list 
or email in a future appointment list directly to the customer. For this example, I'm going to drag a pet into the schedule and bring up the special services reservation screen. The date chosen is the current date on the schedule. We can mark the pet for pickup or delivery, completed or confirmed. So much like the grooming schedule, we can mark a pet as completed without checking them out so that we know by looking at the schedule that the service has been performed if the pet is still in the facility. We also have tabs that you'll see in other Kennel Connection modules. We can create reoccurring appointments. We can add other services to these appointments. We can monitor the pet's vaccination status. And we can add inventory items as well. To create a reservation, we're going to choose the date, and then we're going to choose our reservation service. The rate will automatically apply. We can modify that if we wish to. The time will automatically appear as the current time on the schedule. I can change that here. And we can also assign employees if we have employees assigning for these tasks. In the special services module, you can create multiple appointments during the same day for the same pet. This is unique to this sch schedule. Uh, those familiar with Kennel Connection will know that uh, a pet cannot be put on the boarding, daycare, grooming, or training module twice in the same day. We can also schedule the same service multiple times during the same day for the pet. Once you've filled out your services for this pet, all we have to do is click OK on the reservation. And these services have been assigned on the schedule. Once services are assigned, the pet can be checked in, checked out, or instead of checking them out, I'm going to undo this checkout. Actually, let me leave that. We'll check in this other one. And as I mentioned before, instead of checking the pet out, if you want to just indicate that the pet is still in the facility but completed with this service, we can right-click on the reservation and select Mark Item Completed. So we'll get the bright green completed color coding to indicate that the pet is finished but still in the facility. Right-clicking on the reservation of the special services schedule gives us some other options that you will see in other modules. We can add, modify, and delete from here. We can open up the customer or the pet, bring up a belongings report, the pet's picture. If you're using the Pet Detect collar printers, you can print a collar. You can create booking notes for this reservation. We can print out a special services card, a contract, or a report card. We can also check the pet in and out by right clicking. And then below that, we will have some basic contact information for the customer. We can cancel or confirm the reservation, and we can also select the Create an Invoice. For reoccurring appointments, we can follow the same process. Keeping the date of, of that current day, if it's starting now, or if the customer is scheduling a future reoccurring appointment, we can put that date here. And we can say that the pet is coming in for a pool time at 1.30 p.m. Once we have the basic service set up, the, when the pet is coming, we're going to go to Reoccurring tab. The reoccurring appointment will start from the date selected on the General tab, so in this case, 9.30. 
Then on the reoccurring tab, we're going to select the days the pet is coming in. In this case, I'm just going to select weekdays. And the duration, the number of weeks or months that the pet is coming. And we even have the option to choose every week or every other week. Once we've selected these settings, we can click OK to save the reservation. You'll get this prompt indicating that this pet is ha having a reoccurring appointment created and that it will replace any other appointments for this pet on the special services schedule for the duration of this reoccurring appointment. So I'm going to say yes to set those appointments. And now if we go to, we'll see the pet's appointment has been created on the schedule for Friday. And then if we move forward, we can see it again on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. If we open up the pet card, we'll also see these reservations listed here. And from here, we can add additional reservations, delete some of these. So if this customer, let's say, has created a reoccurring appointment for the next two weeks, but they tell me that on the 10th they will not be in, I can simply go in here and delete the reservation for the 10th without affecting the other appointments. So as I mentioned before, we can change the sort order of the schedule. And if we had employees assigned to this, we could select the employee to only show their services scheduled for the day. In addition to the special services screen, we have reports we can run. If we go to reports, special services, from here we can print up the special services contract if you have one set up in the system. We can run a report for deliveries or pickups scheduled for the pets on the day showing on the schedule. We can print out exercise, feeding, and medication reports for the day showing on the schedule. Pet warnings, a list of all pets on the schedule that have pet warnings attached to the pet card. We can send reminder emails or print out reminder postcards for the upcoming services. We can bring up report cards for all pets on the schedule. We can bring up a report showing all customers that have confirmed their reservations. And we can print out a special services card from here for either one pet on the schedule or all pets on the schedule. And print out the special services log, which will show all the pets on the schedule for the day. And the special services log can also be printed by going to the schedule and clicking the print button. And like the logs for other modules, when printed, the log will show the pets on the schedule in the sort order selected on the schedule. So in this case, I have it sorted by service, so we have the play times and pool times broken up individually. Finally, the other area you want to be aware of when setting up the special services schedule is file, setup, system options and then the special services tab we have a few options here we can choose to adjust in and out times on pet check in and out so you're recording the actual beginning and end time of the service not just the scheduled time we can choose to show vaccination warnings on special service schedules we can show belonging screen at checkout we can prompt for a contract or special service card printing at check-in. We can prompt for report card printing at checkout. We can choose to set the date or time as blank when creating a new reservation. So instead of it defaulting to the current day on the schedule, like I demonstrated, it will come up blank and you'd have to type in the date or time manually. We could disable the check all in, all out feature We can choose to print the pet's photo when printing the special services card in an 8.5 by 11 for inch format. 
we can mark special services complete when special services are checked out. So you can check the pet in and out of the schedule and it'll automatically mark it as complete. And I'm actually going to check that just to demonstrate that briefly on the schedule. And we can also choose to have undo completed when checkout is undone. And I'm going to check that as well, since that kind of goes hand in hand with that setting. And so that final setting, what that would do, as you noticed before, when I checked this pet in and out, it was color coded accordingly. And then I right clicked on the pet for this reservation and selected mark item completed. With the settings I just checked in system options, I'm going to check the pet in. And then when I check this pet out, we'll see it's marked completed as well in the notes section. So we know that the pet has been checked out and the service is completed. And if I undo the checkout on this reservation by checking them out again, it will remove that completed option there because I chose that second option. Without that, the pet would now show as checked in, but still have the completed, even though I ended the checkout. So these are settings just to fine tune how the schedule is going to show the pets during their visit, as well as before and after, and allow you to create and manage these reservations. With the freedom to create your own services for the special services, and to create multiple reservations for pets on the same schedule, this special services module does offer you a flexibility that you won't find in other modules to create multiple services throughout the day uh, for things like pool visits, walking, allowing a more flexible structure to your scheduling needs. If you have any other questions regarding the special services module, please feel free to contact the training department at Blue Crystal Software. You can send emails to training at bluecrystalsoftware.com or you can call directly at 888-486-4343, extension 307.